The evolution of technology is typically marked by progress and enhancement. As we move forward through time, technology tends to advance and develop in impressive new ways, shifting towards being faster, smarter, lighter, more compact, and increasingly affordable. This has certainly been the case for the advancement of automobiles, with their speed capacities increasing drastically, along with those of ships and trains. Interestingly, however, the same cannot be said for commercial airplanes, a very common mode of transportation. In fact, the opposite is true. These planes are becoming slower. Given the general trend of technology becoming more sophisticated and more efficient over the years, it's logical to anticipate a similar progression in the speed of commercial airplanes. Nevertheless, contrary to this expectation, commercial air travel is not currently any faster than it used to be in the 1960s. The main reason for this is closely linked to fuel efficiency. To put things in perspective, air travel from New York to Denver today takes 19 minutes longer than it did back in 1983. Likewise, a flight from Washington, D.C. to Miami now takes an additional 45 minutes compared to the duration in 1973. The primary factor behind this reduction in speed is the cost of fuel. If you increase the average speed of a commercial aircraft by 10%, its energy consumption increases by approximately 20% due to the increase in aerodynamic drag, which is roughly proportional to the square of the speed. This increase in speed leads to higher fuel consumption and, consequently, elevated operating costs. Moreover, modern air passengers are less inclined to pay more for a faster journey. While it is technically feasible for airplane manufacturers to produce faster planes, the demand for such aircraft lies mainly in military applications. Therefore, the speed of commercial air travel remains quite stagnant, perennially close to the speed at which they were flying 40 or 50 years ago. Advancements in jet engine technology have seen older engines, with less than half the intake size and operating at higher speeds, replaced by modern, high-bypass jet engines. These engines have large diameter front fans that offer several benefits over their older counterparts. High-bypass engines are air-breathing engines that achieve the same thrust, but with a lower airspeed. They achieve this by directing much of the air around the turbine, with as much as 93% of the air bypassing it in some models. In stark contrast to these engines are supersonic passenger commercial airplanes, like the Concorde, which operated from 1969 to 2003. Its top speed was a staggering 1,354 miles per hour which is over twice the speed of sound. However, this speed came at a similarly staggering price. It was essentially a fuel hog, consuming 47 pounds of fuel per mile, and it could only accommodate 100 passengers. Consequently, the prices for those seats were exorbitantly high, leading to unattractive airline economics. The Concorde, a commercial airplane, was also notorious for its sonic boom, a result of traveling faster than the speed of sound. This generated noise pollution, which many governments prohibit for commercial aircraft flying over populated areas. Despite the current situation of commercial air travel speeds, progress in the industry could make faster and quieter flights a possibility in the near future. Efforts towards creating commercial planes that generate minimal noise are ongoing, implying that someday soon, our expectations of faster flights might become a reality.